22. For the Jews require a sign and the Greeks seek after wisdom. Without she, she requires a sign. She wants to see sunny. She wants to see more prevalent. It's called the CFB. Do it when I like plants. Be cool. Right? I don't know if I can hear. Some of a Greek. The boy not white. I don't know what the real black me. The boy not white. Like a mature. Mature. Seven year old son. What color she is? Daddy, she brown. But she black, she looks like he black. He he black. black. Yeah, bro, he he black. We all different shares of brown. First Corinthians 1. I'm 22. For the Jews require a sign, and the Greeks seek after wisdom. Without she, she requires a sign. She wants to see sunny. She wants to see more prevalent. It's called a CFB. Do it when I like pants. Do it when I like pants. Start up in the hot sun, but you in the hot sun, you won't fucking there. Huh? But that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Hey, call hello, you humble boy. Show me your shine. All praises to your humble boy. Show me your shine, man. But we preach a Mashiach crucified unto the Jews a stumbling block and unto the Greeks foolishness. And she's a Greek. That's a Greek there. That's a example. Of a Greek. Foolishness. She just saw there. She saw there. She said we pretend to be a cunt. That's what she said there. So foolishness, man. Continue here, man. Yeah. Call Halal. Yahweh. Bahasham. Yahweh Shai. Bahasham. Wakar Kodash. Which is all praises. To Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Makar Kodash, and double honor to mighty chairs, the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. <coughs> Shalom to the Yakim, we're right that are sincere and serious to doing the will of Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Makar Kodash. Second Peter chapter 1, verse 1 and 2 to you all. Yeah, so I'm the brother disciple Kosha Banyamian from the branch of the Great Millstone, Barbados. Yeah, so this part 2. The lesson I did earlier this week. You say, right. by the foolishness of preaching, it saved me that believes, right? Now, to show you that we are the children of Israel, those Gentiles, man, that Paul went to, are Israelites, man. You say, right. they are Israelites, be lost, Hellenized. You say, right. 1 Corinthians 1.22 For the Jews require a sign and the Greeks seek after wisdom. Now what's this sign? The sign the Jews require which is the circumcision. They wanted the Son of God to come down in his miraculous form. Right? They didn't acknowledge the Son of God in his earthly presence. That's why they despised him. Let me get that scripture there quick. Right? <clears throat> Let me get that scripture there quick. In the book of um in the book of Isaiah Isaiah fifty Isaiah fifty three Isaiah fifty three and let me start at verse one Who have believed our report? Who's the report? We go there being heralds ushering in the coming of our Lord, telling you that our Lord is returning. Tell you to repent unto our Lord, right? Who have believed our report and to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? Who can believe it, man? Who's gonna believe? For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant and as a root out of a dry ground. <clears throat> he have no form nor comeliness, and where we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And we hid, as it were, our faces from him. He was despised and we esteemed him not. So the Jews required a miraculous sign. Our Lord came in a simple earthly fashion. He took not upon him the form of angels, but he took upon him the need uh, uh, um, um, the form of men that's uh, I forget that scripture boy um, I forget that scripture wait a minute man he took not upon him the form of angels I think that's in Hebrews you know. um, let me see if I can get word properly uh, yes bear me uh, don't tell me that man I wonder if it's nature of angels. Hold on a minute. Ah, uh, come on. Ah, Hebrews chapter 2 verse 16. Right? 
For verily, he took not on him the nature of angels, but he took on him the seed of Abraham. So our Lord didn't come as these Jews wanted him to come, which is the circumcision. You understand? The wicked scribes and Pharisees and two-thirds of our people. You understand? They didn't, the Lord didn't come in, the, in, in, his, in his miraculous body. <clears throat> you see? Um... Say Matthew twelve. Say Matthew twelve and thirty eight. Then certain of the scribes and of the Pharisees answered, saying, Master, you will see a sign from thee. But he answered and said unto them, An evil and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign, and there shall no sign be given to it but the sign of the prophet Jonah. So you wanna want to see the Lord come in a miraculous form to prove that he is the Son of God. To prove that he is returning. You understand? But our Lord said, nah, he coming back. When you see the stress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves ruin, men's hearts failing for fear, that's how you know the Lord is knocking be. It is near even at the doors be, right? Alright, so are you in the commentaries, right? And um, with the commentaries, is eat the meat and spit out the bones, right? Now, this is the commentary here on the Jews, which require a sign. It says, Christ, which is Hamashiach, crucified, is a stumbling block to the Jews. They cannot get over it. They had a conceit that their expected Messiah was to be a great temporal prince, and therefore would never own one who made so mean an appearance in life and they so a curse a death for the deliverer and king. They despise him and look upon him as execrable because he was hanging on a tree and because he did not gratify them with a sign to their mind, though his divine power shone out in innumerable miracles. You see that? So this is why they rejected the Lord. They had their own um, conceit. They had their own thought in their mind how the law is supposed to how the law is supposed to be but the scripture says what my thoughts are not your thoughts neither are your ways my ways right now the partner with the Greeks he was to the Greeks foolishness they laugh at the story of a crucified Savior now these Greeks are the children of Israel that were Hellenized who the apostle Paul went to alright they were Hellenized to call the ways of the heathen. Right? They laugh at the story of a crucified Savior and despise the apostles' way of telling it. They sought for wisdom. They were men of wit and reading, men that had cultivated arts and sciences. And had, that is what the Apostle Paul said, 1 Timothy 6 and um, 1 Timothy boy, um, oh dear, Salakia boy. That's what the Apostle Paul said, that boy. The Apostle Paul said in the book of um, 1 Timothy 6 and um, 20, O Timothy, keep that which is committed to thy trust. Avoid the profane and vain babblings and oppositions of science falsely so called. Rich, some professing have erred concerning the faith. You see? Grace be with thee, a man, or so be it. You see, so this is what the Greeks, this is what the Apostle Paul is warning us to be. Don't, don't, don't do these things, man. You see, because they sought for wisdom. They were men of wit and reading, men that had cultivated arts and sciences, and have for some ages been in a manner the very men of knowledge and learning. There was nothing in the plain doctrine of the cross to suit their taste, nor humor their vanity. Now gratify a curious and wrangling temper. They entertained it, therefore, with scorn and contempt. What hope to be saved by one that cannot save himself? Did not the the the, the apostle said the the wicked spirit and Pharaoh, he said that he saved others, he cannot save himself, right? So you don't think that these Greeks heard these heard this heard this story? You say this coming Messiah 
as opposed to save us, can't even save himself. You see? This is where they laugh at, laugh at this idea, man. Right? And trust in one who was condemned and crucified as a mere factor, a man of mean birth and poor condition in life, and cut off by so vile and opprobrious a death. This was what the pride of human reasoning and learning could not relish. The Greeks taught it better, the Greeks taught it little better than stupidity to receive such a doctrine and pay this high regard to such a person, and thus were they just justly left to perish in their pride and obstinacy. You see that? Whoa. So let me get back to the scriptures here now. You see why you see why? <laughs> Whoa. First Corinthians one is one they wanted again. Let me read it back. First Corinthians one twenty two for the Jews require a sign and the Greeks seek after wisdom. Now this wisdom is the wisdom of this world, right? This wisdom is the wisdom of this world, as in that was it was it was um it wasn't boring. It, it was as you heard me read it just now. It it, it was it was it was it, it was tasteful. You understand? It was taste. It was it was tasteful. It was intriguing. So to hear what this man did on the cross, they didn't want to take heed. They didn't want to hear that man. You see? It says worldly or spiritual wisdom. So the point is worldly. So they wanted worldly wisdom. And what did the Lord say about worldly wisdom? First of all, he says, um, first of all, Lord says, um, first of all, come on, am I? First Corinthians 8 and 1. Now, as touching things offer unto idols, we know that we all have knowledge. Yeah, yeah, I could, yeah. When it was, when it was so called Rasta, you, you had the other Rasta that would tell me all about the knowledge of Selassie and, 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 you know what I mean? The, div the divinity and this and the third. People got knowledge about Buddha. People got knowledge about, um, 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 um Hindu god Shiva. You say? <laughs> knowledge puffed up. But charity and the fire. And then there's one that says, um, there's one that says, um, uh, let me continue. And if any man think that he knoweth anything, he knoweth nothing, yet as he ought to know. Right? So, we look at right here, this is what you're talking about. Verse 5 For though there be that are called gods, whether in heaven or on earth, and there be gods many, and Lord is many, but to us there is but one God the Father, of whom are all things, and we in him, and one Lord, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, by whom are all things, and we by him. Yeah, so these people got these other so called gods. But really those gods are, are, are um uh idols be man's imaginations and and the children of Israel, right, who became Hellenized, was following suit be. Yeah. So going back to going back here, right? So it was worldly wisdom, you say? And the Lord said he's gonna make the wisdom of this world foolishness with the more say. Right? In fact, let me get that man. Let me get that scripture, man. First Corinthians 3 and 19 For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God, for it is written, He taketh the wise in their own craftiness. So the wisdom of this world that the Greeks sucked after is foolishness be. You see? Right? It's a waste of time, but that's why the, that's why our Lord said, right? In the book of um Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13, right? No, verse 12, right? And further by these, my son, be admonished. By making of many books, there is no end. And much study is a weariness of the flesh. And this is what the Greeks were doing. You understand? This is what the Greeks were doing. They wanted... Let me go back, man. Let me, let me go back. 
Let me go back, man. Right, let me go back to the commentary here, man. You see it? Let me go back to the commentary. Um, let me go back here. Right? And these Greeks, man, these Israelites, man, they're always into every book you could think of, man, because it, it was it was it was exciting to them. You understand? It was it was it was appealing to them. That's why you see men go and do different breakdowns, you know. Again, that's what the apostle Paul said. Cheap, but that's the spirit, boy. That what the apostle Paul said, right? In the book of Galatians, boy. Galatians one. Galatians one and um whoa. Um yeah, verse six. I marvel that ye are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Hamashiach unto another gospel, which is not another, but there be some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Hamashiach. But though we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you that than that which we have preached unto you, let him be a curse. As we said before, so say I know again, if any man preach any other gospel unto you than that ye have received, let him be a curse. So this is the problem, man. You say you oh come on, that's Satan boy. That's Satan, you can't anyhow that's Satan boy. Um so this is what the, this is what children of Israel were doing man you see that's what the apostle Paul warned the church in Galatia don't preach these other books will be enticing you understand and it will lead you astray be you see it will lead you astray be Yeah, I see it, man. So forgive me. All right. So we getting back here. We getting back here. And we getting back here. And then we getting back here. And then we getting right back here. Now I say, eat the meat and spit the bones with these commentaries, huh? You see? So we jumping down to the Greeks, right? Um. Yeah, he was to the Greeks' foolishness. They laugh at the story of a crucified Savior and despise the apostles' way of telling it. They sought for wisdom, wisdom of this world. You see, they were men of wit and reading, men that had cultivated arts and sciences and had for some ages been in a manner the very mint of knowledge and learning. There was nothing in the plain doctrine of the cross to suit their taste. You see, the doctrine was plain. We have made that scripture. Um, ah, it's a lucky boy. I take that description or anyhow, there was nothing in the plain doctrine of the cross to suit their taste. You see that? Nor humor their vanity, nor gratify a curious and wrangling temper. You see that? They entertain it therefore with scorn and contempt. You see? These are the Greeks, we. These are the Greeks that seek after wisdom of this world, man. They wanted something more tasteful to their mouth, man. You see? They wanted to sit on at the edge of their seat. That would just come all these different books and, and going to this this different philosophy and and, and, and the fallen angels is, is had sex with women and, and you know what I mean? Just 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 um for entertainment man. Look, at seventeen eighteen, then certain philosophers of the Epicureans and of the Stoics encountered him, and some said, What will this babbler say? Other some, he seemeth to be a set of forth of strange gods, because he preached unto them Yahweh Shai and the resurrection. And they took him and brought him unto Eropagus, saying, May we know what is this new doctrine whereof thou speakest is? For thou bringest certain strange things to our ears. 
we will know therefore what these things mean. For all the Athenians and strangers which were there spent their time in nothing else but either to tell or to hear some new thing. That's all they was interested in. And it's the same thing today. The children of Israel all over the damn place, man. Let me get our last precept. One of all over the place be Jeremiah 50. One of all over the place trying to, trying to entice one of mine with different doctrines and things, man. So when you hear the word come out, like you saw me start the video, she said that we was preaching foolishness, man. You understand? She wanted the wisdom of this world, man. So the Greeks seek after wisdom. That is, you Israelites want the wisdom of this world, man. Jeremiah 50 verse 6 My people have been lost sheep Their shepherds have caused them to go astray That's the leaders of Israel You see With all, with all enticing books and Storytelling and things You see <laughs> They have turned them away on the mountains They have gone from mountain to hill They have forgotten their resting place You see that So you've gone all over the place man are you forgotten your resting place? And what's the resting place? The Lord said, the Lord said, my sheep hear my voice, man. Let me get our last preset, man. That's John 10. John 10. John 10. And, um... <laughs> uh... So like here, man. Yeah, verse 27. My sheep hear my voice, and they know them, and they follow me. You see? Who's the Lord's sheep? The children of Israel be. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Are you scattered worldwide? Are you into all different philosophies of the world, man? You understand? All different philosophies, man. You see? And these philosophies, man. Shit, another one just kind of mind, boy. Shit. These philosophies, man, is 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 broken cisterns, man. Jeremiah two and Jeremiah two and let me start at eleven. Have a nation changed their gods, which are yet no gods? Did I not read that earlier? They're, although they be many, although they be gods many, right? But they may not gods be. <clears throat> but my people have changed their glory. For that it doth not profit. Be astonished, O ye heavens, at this, and be horribly afraid. Be ye very desolate, save the Lord. For my people have committed two evils. They have forsaken me, the fountain of living waters, and hewed them out cisterns, broken cisterns that can hold no water. So they're gone all over the place, be. You understand? And real ever philosophy, whatever philosophy they are into is a well that is dry you understand so the greeks require wisdom that's you israelites that into all these other philosophies the jews require a sign you wanted the lord to come down in a miraculous form be but we preach hamashiach crucified man we preach hamashiach crucified man right We preach in Mashiach crucified. First Corinthians one, and um, twenty three. But we preach in Mashiach crucified unto the Jews a stumbling block, and unto the Greeks foolishness. You see that? You see that man? <laughs> Whoa! So the, to the Jews is a stumbling block. They refuse that 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 trade stone, our Lord and Savior, and to the Greeks, my he talking bare foolishness, man. I ain't want hear nothing but that. I want hear something exciting, man. I want hear about dragons flying and 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 breathing fire, and 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 and, and, and this tall giant came and and smashed him in his head, and 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 the what that movie now um <laughs> release the kraken, you know what I mean, and and and. He come down, he has sex, and he and then the angel has sex. You see, that is really the, 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 the topic of angels having sex come from because that's what they wanted. They wanted something more exciting. 
Anyhow, man, all praises to our Bashem Yahushai.